Well, this is going to be a fucking fun episode, seeing as I lost to Derby 5-1 in the last one. And no, despite what you said in the comments last episode, Saw Delineo is definitely not going to be the next player manager of Burnley. Anyway, enough pissing around now. Let's just load up the save. Dear God, no! No, 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 no. After 14 fucking episodes, is this happening? This is not happening. This is not happening. Not to me, not to me right now, no, fuck off. It is absolute bullshit that after 14 episodes, the save corrupts. Why would it do that? Well, I suppose that's the end of the series then. <laughs> Only kidding, I had a backup, don't worry. Oh, baby, a triple! <laughs> So, another news away from Burnley. Real Madrid signed Papa Stafford. Papa Stafford. Papa Johns. You know what? I was wondering why I wasn't conceding any penalties lately. Ladies and gentlemen, Burnley will be playing. Four, four, fucking two. I think it's cleared that up. Wait, hold on. We're playing Tottenham again. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. If anyone finds a missing hairline, can someone please return it to Andros Townsend? Go on, Ingsy, lad. I will save our kite I swear he only scores against Tottenham. It's 1-1 at half-time, and I don't know what to say to them because we haven't won in seven games, so what am I actually meant to say? It's played to the back post, and it's Abby Open! <laughs> what the fuck was that? i tell you what, that has to be the 20th save Tom Heaton has pulled off this game. We actually might win this game. This is honestly becoming so predictable. I can't wait for that spin-off series attempting to beat Tottenham. Are you seriously going to remind me every time I don't win a game that I have not won a game lately? I don't think you were the better team, Mauricio. Wank off. How the fuck are the Premier League given Andros Townsend goal of the month against me? You know how the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, sign their fucking centre-backs. The only reason I signed Eric Dyer is so I can actually describe this episode in one word. Get it? Dyer? Fuck off, Chris. I don't know why Rodgers wants Danny Ings, because why would Danny Ings move to a smaller team? Portsmouth are off to Wembley, which is more than I achieved. Here we go, it's Southampton away next, and I am sticking with the 4-4-2 with the greatest striker partnership of all time, Danny Ings and Marvin Sordolino. If we go 10 games without winning, I might actually jump off a bridge. Some of these matches are so bad. Just give me a moment while I just let out a momentary sigh. I'm only seven points off the drop zone, so things may start getting a bit tight now. Oh yeah, nothing is going to improve my under-21s like a friendly against Cheltenham Town. We've got Palace away next, and if you wanted any team news, the team news is that I play the same fucking team every week. I swear it's easier for me to pull Scarlett Johansson tomorrow in my own university than it is to score free kick on this game. I'm only kidding, I only pull my hamstring. Oh great, another nil-nil at half time. The entertainment in this video is unreal. Inches! I'm 21 and I'm getting excited by men. Wait, what? We finally won in 10 games. How the fuck can I be fortunate to win? I bet you weren't expecting that, that I would win a game again. But I have one of the best strikers in the world, Danny Ings, so how can I not win? Oh, Danny Ings wants to discuss something personal. I wonder what that is. Oh, he wants to join Liverpool. Wait, what?